Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Gilbert Perez from Temple of Praise with another episode, another chapter on Ask the Pastor. We're going to come to a conclusion on this series, but not today. But I am going to be answering some questions about the church and the church today and where we stand in, in terms of the second coming of Christ. For now, I want to answer some more questions. One question, the two questions that just kind of have lingered on, and it is this. Is, is there a spiritual world, and if there is one, what does it look like? And then that's a very real question. And you, let me just say this. The spirit world is more real than the real world. Because the real world is going to pass away. But the spirit world is forever because we're with Christ. In 2 Kings, in chapter 6, beginning with verse 16, you read the whole chapter, but you get the gist of what I'm saying by reading these verses. We see that the, the man of God, the prophet of God, Elisha, goes with his servant to his house, and the enemy has tried to get hold of him. At this time, they come in and they surround his house and surround the, the village where he's living. And his servant goes out and he says, we're surrounded, there's, there's, they're everywhere. And Elisha tells him, don't calm down, don't, don't be afraid. There be more with us than there are with them. And then he prays a silent prayer, Elisha does. He says, God, open his eyes so that he can see what's really out there. And in a moment, God opens the servant's eyes and he begins to look and there are soldiers with weapons all around them. I mean, and on horseback, ready to attack. And he is just flabbergasted at the reality of of God's angels and God's warriors. You see, the Psalms tells us there are three types of angels. Those that minister, those that come and, and, and help in ways very special, that, that worship, and then you have those that are warring angels. One day I will speak on those. But right now we see that God has a real world out there. You know, on many a Sunday morning, I've said, I announced this to the church. We'd be at a high worship, at a high praise, and we see that we, we sense the presence of God. And we see that, and I've told them, if you were to have spiritual eyes, we could look at the parking lot and see a battle going on, and our the warrior angels defeating the demons who want to attack this church. And not only this one, but all the others that preach the gospel. And praise God, we're not the only ones in town that do that. There are hundreds and thousands of such churches all over the city and tens and millions all over the world. But yes, there is a spirit world and it is very real. Now the other question that has come is, why does it seem like God took over Pharaoh's heart? And, I, and when I thought that our will is my will, well, you know, this is a very deep teaching, and I'm going to do it in a very, in a very specific way, in a very, in a what may sound quick way. But God gives you and me a free will. That's true. But if I begin to entertain the things of the world as Pharaoh did and began to reject God as Pharaoh did, God gave him to that kind of heart. And you never want to get to that point. You never want to get to the point where God says, it's it with you. I don't ever want God to say that. Again, so this is what is meant by that. God let him continue responding to his carnal mind. And of course, he lost. You always lose. This is what's happening in the world today. The whole battleground that you see here in the schools with the pandemic and with all the other things that are going on, it is a war with God. Between who the powers of darkness, it's beyond that. The powers of darkness has already won the hearts of thousands. So 
Again, until the next time, this is Pastor Gilbert Perez from Temple of Praise Church reminding you to serve God with all your heart because He is with you right now, right there where you are. Blessings.